Mrs. Catnip has been putting out some homemade suet for the birds. She makes it out of shelled sunflower seeds and cooking fat, and it's been getting a lot of attention from the various woodpeckers in our area. I thought this would be a really great opportunity to tell you about how the red shafted northern flicker and the yellow shafted northern flicker get their names. When we imagine a feather, we usually think of the rachis being white or at least a blasé color. Here I have a feather from a ruffed grouse. Uh, this one's from a great horned owl. These two are from a waxwing. This is from a black-billed magpie. This one, these two here are from mallard duck. And this one is from a snowy owl. You can see that the rachis, otherwise known as the shaft or the feather for us laypersons, uh, it's pretty basically what we'd expect. You know, I, I kind of imagine them being white all the time, but really they sort of follow the general color, almost an average color of the feather. Not really standout-ish. Now here are some feathers from a yellow shafted northern flicker. Look at those. Aren't they something? So you can see almost right away why in the name they'll say yellow shafted or red shafted. Here's one I found separately. I think this might be from a red shafted northern flicker. Around here the northern flickers uh, that are red shafted basically look orange. Uh, just like the one in the video there. Yeah, so very beautiful feathers. And that's why they call them yellow shafted or red shafted northern flickers. I think the flicker part of the name comes from when you see them flying through the air, when they fly over you, you'll see these flickering bright flashes of orange and yellow under the wings. Well, I have them here. I don't know if you notice that in the camera very well. Look at the beautiful iridescence on those mallard feathers. Amazing colors. Greens and purples and blues. The uh, magpies, especially the long black ones, I don't have any here on the table right now. They have this really wonderful iridescence to them too. Really beautiful birds. I know a lot of people are annoyed by them, but you gotta give them credit. That is a beautiful feather. Let's see if this helps here. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you, and the flickers have been cooperating with our cameras, so it was a great opportunity.